Hi, my name is Rubidium. Today we're looking at a headshot setup for photography with IntelliTech lights. We have a LC120 on a um, short C stand um, with both the skirt and the diffusion on it. That's giving me my main key. It is uh, 45 degrees above and 45 degrees in front of me, the subject. The second light we're going to add is this big piece of white card um, that's just out of frame. And I'm going to turn on um, this pocket cannon that's going to illuminate this and I can adjust how much bounce, how much up light I'm getting to balance out my top light. Thirdly, we have a pocket cannon mini on a um, C-stand arm that's going to give me my backlight and I'll, I can adjust the um, strength of that depending on the person's hair color. Mine's gray, so I'll turn it down a little. And then lastly, on our backdrop here, um, we have the other Pocket Cannon uh, Mini. It has the blue diffusion cover on it and it's pointing at my gray seamless. And that can, uh, I can change that out to a different color if I want a different color background. So what this gives me is a very controllable, um, really beautiful um, beauty lighting setup for headshots that um, doesn't, doesn't take up much room fits in just three small cases as well as the stands and ent runs entirely off battery power. This means I can put all of this stuff um, in the trunk of my car or I could even carry it on the subway if I was going somewhere in New York, set up in about 20 minutes, um, shoot headshots with constant lighting, not flash lighting. I really like using constant lighting because it makes the pupils of the eyes dilate and gives you a lot more color in the eyes. Um, I have total adjustment over the color temperature. So if someone's a little, uh, a little pale, I can warm up my key light um, and kind of give them a little, put a little bit of life into them. Um, I can uh, adjust my backlight. I can change the color of my background either by taking the um, diffusion off or by replacing it with the orange or straw diffusion that comes with the kit. And generally it just gives me a really versatile, um, transportable, easy to use lighting setup for comparatively um, very little money that gives me a lot of flexibility. Today we are doing some more interesting headshot lighting. This is probably a more extreme look, one that's probably more suitable for musicians or artists or um, people that kind of want to stand out, don't want the average um, top and bottom backlight headshot. They want something um, more striking, um, more distinct. What I've got going here is two LC120s. They're not even in their mounts. They're just hung from clamps at the top of a lighting stand. And behind me, I have five by fast frame and behind that an LC 160 um, to a slightly cooler temperature. So camera set to tungsten, LC 120s are set to tungsten. I have them just either side of the camera. If I pan the camera left and right, they actually come into frame. They're very close. They kind of create this little door um, that the camera looks through. And then I'm getting really close. I'm actually touching um, the diffusion behind me. And what that's doing is giving me um, light that wraps around through the jaw, around the head, across the shoulders, um, without the kind of top-down um, backlight. This is actually a background that illuminates. I've got a model coming, we're gonna take a few shots with her and actually turn on and off different lights, um, see what each light is doing and what different looks we can get. Perfect. So moving to our second setup now, and it's really a single light setup. Uh, I have the IntelliTech Light Cannon Pro going through um, the fast frame um, that's diffusion, and that's giving us a nice big wide soft source. I have another sheet of quarter soft grid um, on the window here, and what that's doing is taking the light that's coming in and just diffusing it and making the window blow out to white. If I get close to it, you'll see that that, that light is then kind of giving me a nice illuminating backlight. Um, like uh, two three quarter kickers, so to speak. Um, and then if this side is too dark, what I do is bring in this just piece of um, Home Depot foam core um, that's been made into a V-flat and that gives me fill on this side of the face. So uh, I can also pull in 
the curtains as a black backdrop as opposed to white. And then what I'm going to do is experiment with getting the model closer or further away from the um, source and then um, filling or not filling the shot. So we'll take a bunch of these and uh, see how that goes. So for the last setup, what I've done is brought in the Light Cannon Pro actually into frame. Um, it is basically acting as a character in the shot, bouncing across um, the model and hitting the fast frame, which I've done both with the silver and with the clay coat, um, the sort of middle off-white reflection. And that means that you're going to always blow out these highlights, but then you get um, a nice kind of return from this. It looks a lot more cinematic. It looks a lot more like a horror thriller movie, um, but it just sort of breaks away from the proper lighting, which I like, and uh, gives us some interesting results. Mm -hmm. 